Welcome to Figure Feedback. My name is Jeremy, and this is the Bamboo Lab H2D with the AMS2 Pro sitting on top. And in this video, I'm gonna show you what the setup process is like with this printer. It's not gonna be a review. I'm just gonna show you what you can expect to do once this winds up at your front door so that there won't be any surprises for you. All right, so let's get started. First of all, let me tell you, this printer is not light. It's heavy. You've probably seen that or heard that in other videos and they're not exaggerating. So if you have another person with you, it's a good idea to ask them for assistance to lift this onto a table if that's something that you're going to do, for example, because if you're not someone who's naturally strong or you lift weights or something, then you might hurt your back. All right. Trying to lift this thing by yourself and putting it on a table, especially when it's still inside of the box. But I'm going to show you what happens after you get it out of the box and after you strip away all of the plastic and stuff all around it and you start getting on the inside. Now, don't expect to get this done in like five or 10 minutes. So although this printer doesn't require you to really assemble anything, there's still some steps that you have to do in order to get everything up and working. So give yourself about an hour before you can really start playing around with it. All right, so let's take a look at what you gotta do. To save space in the box, Bamboo Lab put the AMS2 inside of the printer and they secured it with a number of screws. So first we need to remove all of those screws and remove some bracket pieces in order to take the AMS2 Pro out. Now it's easy to find where these screws are because they're gonna be labeled with a red sticker. So just take the longest Allen key that they give you in the box, there's only two of them, and use that to remove the screws. Once you remove those screws, you'll be able to take the AMS2 Pro out. And now that you have those out, you'll need to make sure that the bed is free as well. And that involves removing some more screws. Now, the two easiest ones to access are in the very back. Again, they are identifiable by some red stickers. And again, you might need a little flashlight in order to peek in there. So just make sure that you have your long Allen key and you're sticking it down into those two holes and just kind of fiddle around in there until you can feel it catch. And then just take those screws and make sure they're very loose. And now you have to remove a couple more screws near the front of the printer and just make sure that you get those. It might be a little fiddly because of how they're placed and how long the Allen key is. Is, but you can get those out just fine and once you do that make sure that you keep the foam that's underneath the bed don't remove that you can kind of see it on the left and the right side of the printer leave that foam there and then just take out the two screws for the bed now let's set up the AMS2 Pro now you can either flip the printer around like I did so that you are directly in front of it or you can just walk around to the other side if you have the space to do that. You can take off the plastic from the AMS2 but what we need is the PTFE tube that's on the inside of that. It should be a nice long tube. You're going to take that long tube and you're going to put one end of it inside of the uh, AMS2 Pro. It's located on the outside of it. There's really one place that you can put that long tube. And then you're going to connect the other one to one of the two spots on the back of the Bamboo Lab H2D. Then you get that six pin connector cable that's also inside of the box. You stick one end of that inside of the AMS2 again on the outside. And then you're going to take the other end of it and connect that to the back of the Bamboo Lab H2D. Now on the inside of the AMS2 Pro, there's going to be some more packing material foam that you can remove. And then in the back, you're going to see some desiccant that's been taped to the back of it. So just take the tape off and you'll have your desiccant packets. You need to take the desiccant out of the package. Don't remove like the desiccant beads itself, but just remove the outer packaging. And then you can take those, that desiccant, and then you can just stick it into two of those slots that's in the back of the AMS2 Pro. They're really just openings that are just big enough for you to stick those desiccant packs in. So just take those out, slot them in, they fold over, and then you'll be done with that part. 
And even though you have an AMS, you can still use an external spool holder. And that one comes in the box as well. And you don't even need to use any screws to secure it. You'll see on the back of the printer, there is a spot that's sort of square shaped. And then you can just snap the external spool holder to the side of the printer. And that's going to keep it in place. Also back there is a very important red piece. You're going to have to take that out and just simply insert it into the corresponding spot that's to the left of it. And you need to make sure that you have that plugged in. Otherwise, the printer is not going to power on. So make sure you put that there. Then you can grab the power cord, stick that inside the printer, turn it on. And now we can actually start doing things. And the things that we're going to be doing includes connecting it to your Wi-Fi, if that's something that you want to do and linking it to your Bamboo Studio account, if that's something that you want to do. And then the actual calibration process where the printer is just going to do a whole lot of moving, shaking and vibrating in order to make sure that it can be as accurate and as smooth as possible. This process is not quick. It's going to take about a half an hour. So you can sit there and stare at it if you want, or you can just go put on a pizza and have a slice or two, and then it'll be done after that. Then you're done. You've got some pre-sliced files that you can go ahead and print if you want to try those out. If you want to try out the cool dual extruder feature that this printer has to offer, or you can just start slicing up your own files and uh, seeing what comes out of that. But that is all that you need to do to set up the Bamboo Lab H2D with the AMS2 combo. Not difficult to do, but it's always nice to see what you're going to be in for. And once all the calibration is complete, don't forget about that foam that's at the very bottom of the printer. See, we left that there because that's what the instructions told us to do. So don't forget about it. Just take that right out. I have a feeling that people are going to just take that foam out because it just seems like it's the right thing to do. And I don't know if that's really going to affect the way that the printer operates or the accuracy of its calibration. But if you saw this video before you did that, now you know, just leave it in place until the calibration is done then you can take it out. So the entire process of setting this up is not difficult, but there were a couple of things that I wish just went a little bit more smooth. So for example, when you're removing all of those little screws to free the print bed, the uh, Allen key that they give you is quite long and that's good. But at the same time, the little hook part, you know, on the Allen key, if you are trying to take out the screws with the long part just going vertical and the little hook piece going over to the side, the little side piece has a tendency to hit the uh the the metal screws on the side like the lead screws it tends to run into them and i have to just sort of bring the allen key back a little bit so it's kind of twisted when i'm trying to unscrew it it's not a huge deal but i wish i just could have kept it upright and just kept on turning it until the screw came completely out without having to kind of like finagle it also it's some of the screws on the side, when you're like trying to remove um, them from the print bed, they, they're they kind of, it's kind of a tight squeeze. So you might have to actually get your head in the printer itself in order to see exactly where you need to go to take those screws out. And it's pretty dark in here. So that having a little bit of light is going to assist you. Um, and when you get to the back to remove the screws that's in the very back, since they are recessed inside of that plastic piece that's holding them down, uh, you might have to grab your phone flashlight just to kind of see where that hole is so you can stick the Allen key in there and just take it out. Um, again, not a big deal. It's not going to like screw up the entire process, but it's just something that I did that I was like, man, I wish this were a smoother process for me unscrewing these things. But, you know, that's just me nitpicking. The whole thing is still easy to do. And when you get to the part where you have to take the PTFE tube and connect it to the AMS2 Pro and then connect the other end to the printer, in the instruction manual it said to take the PTF tube from PTFE tube from the accessories box. The problem is the accessories box, or while though it does have PTFE tubes, they are shorter. So it's not going to fit from the AMS to the printer. Instead, you need to use the tubes that come inside of the AMS uh, 2 Pro. When you open it up, you'll see there's some goodies in there, including the, uh, the uh, six pin connector that you plug into the back of the computer 
of the, of the printer, as well as some longer PTFE tubes. And the longer ones are going are what you will need. So that's just a little something inside in the instruction manual that could be cleared up. Or maybe my longer tubes just happen to be in the AMS and then your longer tubes happen to be inside of the accessory box like the instructions say. I don't know. But just don't try to use the little shorter tubes because it's not long enough. It's not going to fit. So just make sure you get those two longer tubes to connect the AMS to the printer. And then you can use the shorter tubes when you want to connect a uh, external spool to one of the extruder ports on the back. That's what the shorter tubes are going to be for. And that's pretty much the entire setup process. So like I said, it's not going to be something that you can do in five or 10 minutes. The calibrations alone is going to take about a half an hour. So just take your time, take all those screws out, make sure that you got all the foam removed, make sure that you clip those uh, those ties off so that the print head can move and everything. And, you know, you should have a pretty easy time getting this all set up. But I'm just working on my first print now, and uh, I got a lot more to do with this printer, uh, including some good maintenance practices for this printer as well, because it's pretty expensive. So the least you can do is take care of it the best that you can. So if you want to see that video, be sure to subscribe so that you can see it as soon as it comes out. And that's going to do it for now. I want to thank you all so much for watching. Until next time, take care of yourselves, and I'll speak to you soon.